Hello again. This is my third video concerning this uh, uh, 2467B uh, oscilloscope that I bought probably a year ago, but uh, I didn't notice the, uh, the issue with the high frequency and the magnification because I uh, didn't have a signal generator to generate uh, such a high frequency to, to be able to, to see it on the scope. Now I have my signal. Uh, 2122X ready to uh, shoot a 50 megahertz sine wave at 4 volts peak to peak. Now you can see here the, um, the original uh, circuit, the U800, the notorious one, um, that I desoldered from the main board and um, I mounted using strips and then I fastened it using the original uh, nuts, but uh, this time I just fastened them by hand. Uh, originally when I had to remove the chip from the main board um, I had to unfasten the nuts using a pair of pliers uh, which well uh, well at least in my opinion I think uh, uh, caused a lot of stress on the circuit uh, and uh, most importantly on the um, heatsink of the, the chip. Um, I don't think I'm uh, so enough technical, so to speak, to uh, to give you my opinion on this uh, situation. However, I can only report the results, and I can tell you that the scopes work uh, works perfectly since I did this modification. Um, okay, so uh, I'll start the scope. I'll power it on. Okay, so uh, let's see. You can see the uh, 50 megahertz wave. There. Okay. Uh, as I said, 4 volts peak to peak. The division, uh, the vertical division is 1 volt, so you see there are 4 volts and uh, 10 nanoseconds horizontal speed. Now I'll move it to 5 nanoseconds and I move the wave all the way to the left and all the way to the right, but uh, as you remember from my previous videos, the issue was when I moved the, the wave to the left, there was some annoying drifting. And of course, if I uh, use magnification like I'm going to do now, here's the result. You can see there are no, there is no drifting whatsoever. Uh, but to be fair, I'll wait a bit for the scope to warm up. Um, and um, what else? Well, I checked the temperature. Uh, I mean, I, I don't keep it on uh, with the cover. Uh, I mean, when the when the scope is out of uh, his uh, chassis, I don't keep it on more than uh, five minutes or so because uh, I'm concerned about the heating of the the hybrids, the hybrids here. Nevertheless, um, if you compare the heat generated by the U600 here this is vertical amplifier which gets pretty hot compared to the U800 which uh, at any time you can put your finger on it I mean yeah it's hot but not that hot okay anyway uh, let's check the, the wave here I'll position it to the left again All right hit the magnification No drifting till now. Okay. Um, what else? Well, I'm not saying that. You know, if you have any problems with a horizontal amplifier, and you will desolder it from the mainboard and mount it as I did, you will solve the the problems. I don't know about that. I can only report that uh, you know it did it for me. Um, Other than that, uh, no, I'll have anyway, I'll have a, a, a spare circuit uh, anyway because I ordered it, but uh, it didn't arrive, so uh, that's why I mounted uh, the original IC 
on the board. It was uh, certainly usable until uh, certain frequencies. Okay. Now again, let's check the, the scope here. Off to the left, to the right, and magnification. Worth mentioning that uh, uh, after I mounted uh, the circuit in this new position, uh, the behavior of the scope was the same. I mean, I had the drifting, uh, and you know, uh, I thought that well, this is normal. I just you know mounted the circuit uh, in a different position. However, um, uh, after 30 minutes or so, the the scope uh, is like you know repairing itself okay so now this is this concludes my uh, my saga with this uh, 2467b scope uh, i hope this information that you have from from uh, my videos uh, is going to prove uh, uh, useful for you and please report if you try this uh, yourself i mean if the horizontal amplifier is going to fail you don't have anything to lose anyway so you have to desolder it but before buying another one just try this kind of mounting and uh, see if uh, you have the same results you may be in for a surprise so thanks for watching